Okay, hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create an ordered list using Visual Studio Code. So let's get right to work. I'm going to begin by opening Visual Studio Code. I'm going to close the welcome screen. We don't need that. Then I'm going to go up to the main menu where it says File. I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to click Open because I want to open the template file as the first step in working to create a web page. So now I have the template file open. And notice that I placed uh, uh, some text in the template file so that folks recognize that this is in fact working. This is an incredibly small file and the main purpose of it is to give us the structure of a web page so that we don't have to retype this each time we work on a web page. So let's, um, let's first of all uh, open this in the default browser. So I'm either going to right click if I have a mouse or I'm going to command and click on the mouse pad and choose Open in Default Browser. So choose Open in Default Browser. That will bring up a Chrome window and notice that it says this is the template. So we know the template is working. It is a an actual web page file. Okay, I'm going to close the template file now and go back to um, Visual Studio Code, and I'm going to change the heading in this H1. I'm going to change the text. I'm going to change that to um, creating ordered and lists. So notice that we're working between the body tag, so we're inside the body tag, and so that means we need to tab over one tab or use two spaces to get our code inside the body tag so that it's left aligned. To start an ordered list, we're going to use the tag OL, and OL of course stands for ordered list. My cursor is positioned between the opening and closing OL tags, and I'm going to press return. And now our list items must go between the opening and closing ordered list tags. Now, notice that Visual Studio Code automatically moves us over two spaces or one tab because we're working inside another pair of tags. So anytime we move inside another pair of tags, we need to move over, we need to indent two spaces or one tab. So we will begin with an LI tag. And remember from last week, LI stands for list item. And we're going to put, um, I think it was six list items in here. And so anytime we're creating ordered lists, we're creating lists that have a specific order or sequence that they should be uh, done in. So here in ordered list, I'm going to give instructions for doing exactly what we're doing now. So it's uh, first we did open the template file. So we've accomplished that step in this process of creating an ordered list. The second list item is um, we're going to save the template file as orderedlist.html. So 
So we haven't done that yet. Let's go ahead and I'm going to put an underscore between ordered and list like that. So save the template file as ordered list.html. We haven't done that yet. So what we're going to do is go up here to file in the top menu. We're going to click file and we're going to click save as, not save, save as. And we're going to name this ordered list.html. <clears throat> and notice it remembers where I loaded the template file from, and it's giving us the opportunity to save it in that same folder, and that's exactly what we want to do. So we're going to click Save. Notice now that the name of the file that we're working on is no longer template.html, it's orderedlists.html. So... We're going to do another list item. And the third thing we want to do is add the ordered list code. So we're in the process of doing that step now. So uh, step one, open the template file. Step two, save the template file as ordered list.html. Step three, add the ordered list code. Step four, whoops, we're going to do another uh, list item for step four. And uh, that's going to be uh, save the file. After we add the ordered list code, we're going to need to save the file. And I think I'm going to go ahead and say ordered So the way we save the file is to use the file menu again and click save. So after we save the file, we're going to open the file in the default browser. Another list item. So we're going to open the file in the default, default browser to verify that it renders correctly. And then lastly, uh, the last list item, correct any mistakes. So we just finished adding the list ordered list code. We're going to save it now. So step four was to save the ordered list. So, so to save it, to do step four, we're going to go up here to File and then Save. Notice that the shortcut key to do that is Command-S. So we're going to click Save. Now we're going to open it. Num step number five was open it in the default browser. So I've saved it. I'm going to command click or right click if you're using a mouse. I mean control click, sorry not command click. Control click and we're going to open in default browser and notice here's our ordered list. Open the template file, save the template file as order list.html, add, 
add the ordered list code, save the ordered list.html file, open it in the default browser. So we're doing step five now, and step six is going to be correct any mistakes. Notice that everything is as it should be. So need, no need to correct the mistakes. So um, I'm looking here, and I want everyone to be uh, aware that this indentation structure where when we have tags inside other pairs of tags have to be indented. So this is the way your code should look when it's indented correctly. So this is critical, and it's one of the things we're working on today. So that uh, ordered list code is complete, and now we can move on to indentation.